universe solar system dodo tell me one thing yes jia do you know anything about universe mm, like there are eight planets in the solar system correct anything else mm, that's it now you say jia hmm friends come let's start our universe solar system the sun and all heavenly bodies that revolve around it form the solar system orbit a planet is a heavenly body that moves around the sun in a fixed path called the orbit mercury it is the closest to the sun it is the smallest planet in the solar system it is very hot during the day and during night it is very cold it has very little air venus is not the closest to the sun yet it is the hottest planet of the solar system it is also called the brightest planet it can be seen in the sky as a bright object just before the sunrise or just after the sunset that is why it is called the morning star and the evening star it is the closest planet to the earth earth is the third planet from the sun it is the only planet known to have life on it it is also called the blue planet 70% of earth's surface is covered with water this makes the earth appear blue from space mars this is the fourth planet from the sun it is also called as the red planet the planets after mars are called the outer planets jupiter it is a gas giant the largest planet in our system the giant planet spins faster than any other planet saturn it is the second largest planet in the solar system rings made of pieces of rocks surround the planet there are seven shining rings around the middle of this planet the cassini spacecraft has been sent to saturn to study this planet uranus it is the third largest planet it was the first planet that was discovered using a telescope Neptune fast flowing storms are the feature of this planet inner planets inner planets are mercury venus earth and mars outer planets are jupiter saturn uranus and neptune the moon and its phases Heavenly bodies which move around the planets are called satellites. Moon is the natural satellite of the Earth. The moon has a rocky surface and has deep holes called craters. The changing shape of the moon that occur almost every day are called the phases of the moon. Stars. They are huge ball of fire and light. Stars look very small because they are far away from us. Sun is also a star. It appears big because it is close star to the earth. The Ursa Major and Orion are the most commonly seen constellations in the sky. The Earth. Coal. in a most layer that is made up of dense minerals mainly iron and nickel is called coal mantle it is the middle layer of the earth it is a layer of rock rich in minerals such as iron and magnesium crust the outer layer is that in which we live on coolest layer consists mostly of rocks such as granite and basalt movements of the earth the globe is a representation of the earth it is round in shape and slightly tilted we can also spin the globe
The movement of the earth around its axis is called rotation. The earth also spins around an imaginary line called axis. The axis runs from the north pole to the south pole. Rotation The earth constantly spins around its axis from west to east. It completes one spin or rotation in 24 hours. We experience day and night due to the rotation of the earth. The part that faces the sun experiences day. The part that is away from the sun experiences night. Revolution The earth along with planets moves around the sun. This movement of the earth around the sun is known as revolution. All the planets move around the sun along an imaginary fixed path called the orbit. The orbit is oval in shape. The earth takes 365 one fourth days to complete one revolution. Revolution causes changes in seasons. Volcanoes Volcanoes that erupt regularly are called active volcanoes. For example, Mount Etna in Sicily. Volcano that has not erupted for a long time but can erupt are called dormant volcanoes. For example, Four Picked Mountain in Alaska. Volcano that has not recorded during history is called extinct volcano. For example, Shiprock Volcano in New Mexico. Equator. Equator is an imaginary line that runs through the center of the earth at an angle of 90 degree to the axis. It is divided into two halves. The upper half is called the northern hemisphere and the lower half is called the southern hemisphere. Changes of season. The tilted axis of earth and its revolution around the sun cause change of season. During this period, the south pole is tilted away from the sun. So the southern hemisphere receives slanted sun rays. The days are shorter and cooler here. When the north pole is tilted towards the sun, the northern hemisphere receives direct sun rays. It is summer in the northern hemisphere. When the north pole is tilted away from the sun, the northern hemisphere receives slanted sun rays. It has winter. Let's recall. A star is a huge ball of gases that gives up light. Planets get light from the sun and move around it in a fixed path. The earth has three layers, core, mantle and crust. The equator divides the earth into two equal halves, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. The rotation of the earth causes day and night. The tilted axis of the earth and its revolution around the sun cause change of season. Thank you.